Well, it's that time again. Time to rewind. No, we were not. Name your last episode. Rewind retrospective, episode six. I'm Tim. I'm Wyatt. He's my dad. That's my son. Two dudes. One truck. A million things to do. And one life to live. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Positive Crunch YouTube channel. We appreciate you stopping by. As always, already that time again, hard to believe that we're putting out this many videos every week. Some do really, really, really well. Some do pretty good. Others, so it is what it is, but hey, we're putting them out there. We hope you enjoy them. We know a lot of people comment and get involved in our uh, family of, of this channel, and we appreciate that so much. So we just want to say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you uh, once again. We can't say it enough. We've had some really, really cool stuff that uh, came from this. Our subscribers are growing every day, and just a few months ago, we would have never even imagined we'd be where we are today. So... Couldn't have done it without you, and we appreciate you. We're going to try to get through this. I've got a thunderstorm that's coming through the area, and she's rumbling pretty good. But uh, never say never. We're going to fight on. First video, Witherfall. What we are dying for. It was a guitar playback featuring Jake Dreyer. Uh, this band is an, uh, a band from the U.S., and uh, they're from the L.A. region, California. Uh, I believe that's exactly what I read. We had a one of our subscribers, a uh, fantastic guy, Steve Mangini. Uh, he became one of our first PayPal supporters, and that was pretty neat. And we we weren't expecting it. Um, it. It was just out of the blue. And in in the email, he mentioned this band in this particular uh, video. Sent me a link. And so we did the video, or I did the video, and wow, I am kind of beside myself that I've not heard of this band uh, or heard anything from them. So I was very, very intrigued to check this out. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you, I was blown away. And if you've not heard this song or seen Jake play, please go watch our video or... Go watch the original video. Either one. Uh, we prefer that you watch ours. But it is fantastic. Just all of it kind of blew my mind. So if that's a, a little tease for you. Trust me. If you if you don't know the band, if you've not heard the song, or you've not seen that video, please go go watch it. We I highly recommend it. Number two, Nightwish. Last ride of the day, live from well, from wherever you're at, it's either Wacken or Vakken. Uh, open air 2013. Finally, finally, after a terrible month of June and not really getting to see my son for over a month because of this coronavirus crap, my son, Wyatt, finally joined us. Uh, had a lot of people asking and wanting to see him react to it. Uh, well, to anything really. And, we had a time. We we really enjoyed this one. Uh, he's not a symphonic metal kid at all. He's more power metal, heavy metal. But we uh, we watched this, and I'm still waiting for the day that I watch or react to a Nightwish song and go, I did not like that at all. And I'm sure at some point I will find one. But so far, I've been extremely fortunate, or the subscribers have led us in the right direction. Number three, Sabaton. Wyatt was with me on that one. Now, he is a gigantic Sabaton fan now. I mean, this kid is, he loves this band. I do too. And so, we shot six videos uh, the first night he was back home, and... The first two were uh, that he picked out were Sabaton videos, and then he picked the Nightwish video, and then we got some other stuff that we did that's very unique, and we hope that you will watch it, uh, even though it is 
totally different. But anyway, uh, we watched Screaming Eagles, the official music video from Sabaton. And uh, he picked it up right, you know, right off the bat. Uh, he's, he's doing really well as far as um, understanding the band, uh, the, the fact that, you know, most or 99% of what they have done is war or war heroes or war stories uh, from the past. And, and so they share historical events within their songs, which is absolutely epic, as most people know. Anyway, he picked up right, at, right off the gate that we were talking about the 101st Screaming Eagles. So uh, he knew that it was the Airborne Division and also World War II. So I was very, very happy to see him to know that. But fantastic song. Absolutely awesome. We enjoyed it. Uh, any of the Sabaton stuff, you can go on their website if you're new here or if you don't know. They, uh, you can go on their website, you can go into their lyrics, and at the bottom it'll tell you uh, a little brief detail of what the song is about, what event that it's uh, covering. Or you can go to Sabaton History uh, on YouTube, their channel, and it is packed with all kinds of awesome stuff. So I highly recommend checking all that out. Uh, number four was I had uh, a several people to reach out to me and they wanted to see Joy Jordanson. I tried to find a Joy Jordanson drum cam video and I've not been successful really at checking or finding one at this point. But what I did find was a YouTuber, something Chernobyl. They had a video, Joy versus Jay. So we had Old versus new Slipknot drummers. So that was a really neat video, I thought, to watch. Uh, you got to see both of them in their element. So it was a neat video. I thought it was pretty fun to watch. Uh, at the time I'm recording this, it's not out yet. Several of these videos are not out yet. So I don't know how it'll go, but I'm kind of feeling like it's going to go good. Fifth video, C6 Steve, Doghouse Boogie. And those videos drive me nuts because it's so freaking cool. I mean, this guy is so talented. He plays some really weird instruments, but he plays like slide blues guitar and they just don't get the views. And it's, ah, uh, I was just, and I want people to watch this. I don't know. This guy's cool. And you never know who you're going to see up on stage with him. There's some pretty popular, uh, bass player that's, uh, shows up playing right beside of him so please go and check it out doghouse boogie you like the blues you like kind of delta blues or rocking blues with sly guitar please go check out c60 i think you're gonna like it give it a shot learn something new find something new experience something new number six winter sun sons of winters and uh, winter and stars kai hato drum cam video Man, I had a lot. The drum cam videos are really, really shocking me. I am so glad that everybody is digging those because I love doing them. I absolutely love those. And uh, so I got a lot of people who were like, please, please check this one out. He really does the work. And yeah, he does. Uh, that is a fantastic video. Kai is a technician. He is a master of his craft. I keep saying that over and over and over. And it's not like people don't already know that. It was so fun to watch. So fun to watch him do his thing. And, you know, just, it's Kai. What can I say? Seventh on the list. Nightwish Amrith Live from Tempere. I guess it's Tempere? Tempere? Temp anyway. Uh, that, wow. What a concert song. It was, uh. Man, Floor just, as always, on the stage. The guys were amazing. I, I'll tell you one thing that really stood out to me that I enjoyed from this video was the fact that I could really, really hear Marco's uh, bass playing. And though it wasn't anything completely over the top, it was just fantastic. And not to mention, I love the bass he's playing in that video. So if you're a bass player, 
uh, and you like to hear a little thumping going on and, and get to hear the bass line like really well in a video, that one is one that I suggest. So go back, check that out. Fantastic song. Number eight, Sabaton, Attack of the Dead Men. We have had, this may be the most requested Sabaton uh, reaction video or video to do a reaction to that we have gotten since we started doing reactions a month or two ago. And I knew as soon as Wyatt saw it on the list that that would probably be the one we'd do. Now, granted, I, I'm and I'm still trying to do this, but I was going I was going to go album by album, track by track, and I've had a lot of uh, people reach out and go, "Yeah, that's cool, man." And uh, I, I just you know so we can kind of grow with the band from like their I don't want to say inception, but from their start up to present day. <sighs> that kid, I, I tell you, he was just like, "Dad, I mean, this is awesome." This is this just sounds awesome. Let's check it out. And I ain't gonna lie to you, there was not an argument there because I have been biting at the bit to hear this song and to see this video. So we sit down, and if you'll watch that video, I kind of question him. I'm like, you know, hey, you you see this? What does it make you think of? And uh, I was pretty proud of you know where his mind went. Uh, he was on track. So go and check that video out. Uh, be impressed by, if nothing else, a 14 year old kid that actually knows a little bit about history these days. Holy cow. But I won't get into politics and I won't get into all the craziness these days. Ninth up, we had Kai Hato, his drum cam from Nightwish, Weak Fantasy. Oh my goodness. That was such a fun video to, to actually react to. I think anytime I get to react to Kai doing his thing, it's, it's nice to see a, a very technical player who, when they when you see shots of their face, they're enjoying it. I mean, they're not just going, oh, my God, I'm playing this song again and again and again. No, Kai is a consummate professional. He You can just read it that he is having the time of his life when he's playing, and it really shines through. It's, it's fantastic. You need to check this video out if you have not seen it. Weak fantasy. Oh my goodness. And finally, okay, earlier in the video, I mentioned uh, we uh, we did some stuff that was very unique, very different, and I'm hoping it's not going to end up being one of those videos that we do that's like super awesome, but it gets like 100 views. Please, please, I hope this video... I hope this. I hope this video has done good. We'll know. Uh, anyway, by the time this video comes out, we'll know how it's doing because it will have come out. Uh, I guess yesterday. Uh, Sonny Van Van de Pute, This is this guy is part of a barbershop quartet or a, a group of guys, but he has uh, his own YouTube channel under that name, Sonny Van de Pute. And he does a lot of one-man barbershop quartet where he does all four parts and he's doing like classic rock songs. Y'all. <laughs> Wyatt saw, oh, I told him about it and he's a huge Queen fan just like I am. And I said, pick a song. We had the list up. We were filming at the time he picked somebody to love so we did that and i'm telling you right now if please i don't care if you're just hardcore if you're like all metal all the time please if you have any like love or respect for queen freddie mercury brian may uh john deacon roger Tyler, those guys if just please go watch this video, it will absolutely blow your mind. Got Wyatt here at the house, told him about it, and he was like, oh yeah, I want to do that. So please go check that out. Well, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but the storm is over top of my house and the rain is hitting the tin roof. So I'm going to make this very quick. All of our social media 
is down below in the comment section. Please, if you have not subscribed yet and you're new here and you love all kinds of music, please hit that subscribe button, join the family, join the conversation. Man, we got so much that's gonna be coming out and we're so excited, we're, we're enjoying the ride that we're on, discovering all these new bands to us or new ways of old songs or, or just songs we've never heard. It has been an awesome ride and we appreciate it. Everybody, please go out, do something positive every day. Make your day a better day. Make somebody else's day a better day and the world will be a better place. With that, stay awesome. Rock on. Thanks for stopping by, everybody.